Hi guys, it's me, and today we're gonna be doing a science experiment. So let's just get straight on into it. So for the first one, we're gonna be making a lava lamp. Now we actually didn't get to test this one, so we don't really know if it works or not. But we're gonna try it out and hope that it works. So first step is to add about two thirds um, of baby oil. If you know fractions like I do, you could just imagine it's one of, it's a bar and then you put it into three equal pieces. We're getting nasty here. I'm not gonna open these things. Why is the thing spinning? How is that so easy for you? Oh boy, it's got a tiny little nozzle. Oh. Remember, you still have um, two thirds. Oh, I hate things with tiny little nozzles. All right, we're out. That seems good to me. Kind of sprinkling some of the... Oh, well. <laughs> Next step is to add a little bit of oil. So, why is this such a big cup? We don't really need it. So, we, in the video, it didn't exactly say how much water to add. So, I'm just gonna add, like, just a tiny bit more. This thing's good. And so next, food bag. So you're just gonna wanna add about like, some. I think it's about three drops. Three drops. Back. Another one's a good look. That looks pretty cool, actually. This will be a nice glue, hopefully. Oh. And then next, you add the Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> so it's these little thingies. So they, they're just these little tablets that you could use to make things fizz. Actually, they're also to help your stomach feel better, so yeah. And in the video, they broke it apart, so I should have come closer and watched the action. Hello, I see you have come back. Now it's time to add the thing. So break it. Oh, I'll just add three. Woo! Wait, that's cool. It's bubbling, it's fizzling, it's biggling and dribbling and skibbling. Careful. I wonder if this will ruin it or anything. I'm gonna take a second to get down to the bottom. Whoa, look at it, it's purple too! Whoa. All right. So I think that I rate the lava lamp probably like a five out of five. Actually, I still have the lava lamp right here, but it stopped fizzing a little bit. You gotta keep on adding the stuff if you want it to fizz forever. So now it's time to see if the next hack works. So let's go. All right, so next we're gonna be doing, um, we're just gonna be making some basic slimes, but that's not all we're doing. Uh, we're gonna be doing something a little bit fun with it at the end. So stay tuned and don't skip through this part. It's not as boring as you think. So if you don't know how to make slime, you just add some glue. I'm not a pro at it, but I do make it every day so all my slimes turn out horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and mix it. Oh, this is heavy! Oh, can I have oh, All right, so we poured it into my Kona ice cups because I'm really hoping that maybe Kona ice will come. Mix 
I might have added a little bit much because I don't know. I probably should have dyed it first. Well, I guess I'm dying it now. I don't know if this is good or a bad idea. I'm just gonna go in with my hands to be all the knots out because this is pretty cool. Get ready for this. This is actually super fun. Also, I love slime, so. All right, so we'll see you in the next one. All right, so I think that I rate that last one about a 10 out of 10. I think that there's really nothing wrong with it. It's really fun. It's super good if you're bored at home. So now we're moving on to the next one, and we actually already have all the ingredients here. So what you're gonna need is some dish soap, some water, just a small little cup of water, two of the same jars or cups, a little plastic cover. Um, I don't know if a card will do as well, but this is literally just one of the caps to my um, baby sister's food. We just cut a little, we just cut it. So just find something nice and sturdy credit card might work, but I don't know if it'll work as well. Just make sure that you can cut it nice and big so that it can fit over the top of your thing. Another little cup, some olive oil, and some alcohol. And um, just, you don't have to do it, but it makes it look even better if you add food. So, right now, what we're making with all this is Lava Lamp 2.0. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get straight on into it. We need to add the olive oil into one jar. So you're just going to want to add it about halfway. It's not too much because that would be a big waste. Alright, that looks about good. And then, now we add some alcohol. So I'm going to be pouring it into a cup because we're actually going to dye it so that it looks cooler than we could have that they're lined up nice and good because if you take it off and they're not lined up it'll all spill out okay uh, 
Is it working? Oh yeah, it is. So it's not as cool as the other lava lamp, but it's still pretty cool. Um, wait, no, don't. murky down there. I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, so and so now we're going to go on to the next one. For this next one we're going to be doing invisible ink. So for this you're just going to need a lemon squeezer and some lemon. If you don't have a lemon squeezer just squeeze it by yourself. Don't be lazy. A paintbrush, a bowl or a cup, an iron, and a piece of paper. So what you're going to need to do for this is get your lemon in your lemon squeezer, or just use your hands, whatever. So, so squeeze some lemon out into a, your cup slash bowl. So now, you're gonna wanna make sure that there's a nice amount of lemon. So then you're just gonna wanna paint on um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're drawing. So, um, got it all drawn out. So next step is to let it dry completely because if you don't let it dry completely, it won't show. But after you let it dry completely, you're gonna wanna go to your ironing station and then iron it on the hottest setting. Yeah, we'll be right back while it dries. All right, so now that it's all dry, um, you can't really see it um, where it's wet, but since it's dry already, it is kind of lumpy, so you can kind of see it, but it's only lumpy because when you wet paper, it gets lumpy. So now you're just gonna wanna maneuver the iron on top of it. Not too fast and not too slow. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do it. And remember, do try this at home. Yeah, so we have my secret message. It's just a drawing that I made with a boy with an X on his face and a weird helicopter shirt. I don't know. Okay, so out of all the science experiments that we did today, I think that the first lava lamp, the very first one was the coolest. It lost its fizz, but you know what? I'm doing this for you guys. I do this for you. Um, I definitely recommend you try this one. And the second best one is probably the slime bubbles. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and to go check out my TikTok. Also make sure to ding the bell. Also if you can comment, because sometimes people can comment for some reason, comment down below which one was your favorite one too. So bye guys, I'll see you next time. Corn shirts, you can draw walnuts, you can draw flowers, you can draw candles. We get it. Where?